Hey, got yes. a sec, Biff. Well, sure, Martin. What's, What's on, on your mind? mind? So, uh, about all the, all the bad, bad things you used to do. do. Gosh, Gosh, Martin, I, I really, really don't like dredging up the past, past but all right. right. If it'll, it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Plus. So there's no losing in Hill Valley. Nope. I'm not sure if someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but counts like Officer Parker over there always catch it sooner or later. Now let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. I can get used to this. No, please, Mark. Don't make me angry. All right, man. You're off the hook this time. I can get used to this. No, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, later Biff. Bye, Bye Martin. Martin.
Abby. What did I, I tell, tell you? you? I, I wasn't, wasn't doing, doing anything. anything. That's, That's exactly, exactly why I gave you a demerit. demerit. Now, now scram! scram.
This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. I'm gonna get some attention. Take a look in there. No. Once, Once an item, item has been placed in the decycling bin, it's gone. Forever. Hands, Hands up, up, citizen. Assume, assume the position. Here goes, goes nothing. There better, better be apple juice, juice in this. Uh, why, why don't you open it and find out? out. Don't get you started with me. I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. King strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Just, just fast forward the lecture. lecture. Just get this over with already. Ow! Officer, demerit him severely. And, and as for the alcohol, drop it into the recycling bin. With, with pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your, your nose, nose clean, clean, or you'll find yourself in town. Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Yeah. That's try to be worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Right. Because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? He's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Wow, Marty. What's next to... Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, you citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you, Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have, we have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it young Mr. McFly? He's being banded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak, but you are in a heap of trouble. Yes, but don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps? The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. Taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes sir. It's about, about time. I always knew your goody two shoes eight plus be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Rain, president of the Junior Mount recipient of a full ride scholarship, winner of the Porterhouse Challenge to Porter Award, zero demerits, until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Gotta believe me, Doc. I only did it to get your attention. Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin? 
get into the questions. Just stop us on baseline. Get questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. I know this is going to be hard for you to swallow, Doc, but I'm not from around here. I'm from a different timeline where Hill Valley isn't all screwed up and there aren't these crazy rules and, and my dad's not a snoop and my mom's not a drunk and, and you're my best friend in the whole space-time continuum. An old phony like me? Your best friend? Yes! And Doc, I need you to get me back there. So you believe this is it's really more about me than you? Yes! You went through all the struggles to me in person? Yes! A cry of hell, as it were. Yes! Wait, wait. Tell, tell me, Mark. Is your, your mother on the sauce again? Forget, forget my mother. She's not, not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Mark. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Of the 301 Expo all the way up to my cutting edge Citizen Plus program. 
successful. It was supposed, supposed to be a failure. failure. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Let's have full, Marty. Have full. This is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. Kind of clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Impressively detailed illusion. Keep Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog, harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been tangled. Was there anything I'm Traveler too, thanks to your invention? I, uh... Bizarre fantasy. Go on. See. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... It's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? So that's, that's what, what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my life, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Look it up. You know better, right? And it? Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitan. Surge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edward Strickland. My scientific views are the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? I'm almost sorry we put Kid Tannen away. We? Yeah, come on, don't you remember? You disarmed him and I trapped him in the rocket car. No, that's not how it happened. Remember him? Arthur McFly, your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you and I served a subpoena to him back in 31. Preposterous. Wow, I never noticed this before, but Edna definitely had the hots for you, didn't she? Hot, yes. 
She saw something, something all right, and she ran with it. Hmm. Looks, Looks to, to me like a kid who's all psyched about his new invention. invention. That's, That's where you're wrong. Although my rocket car had accidentally captured the kid ten, it was also a wildly impractical and dangerous idea that would trigger unimaginable consequences had I pursued it further. Luckily, Panda came along and channeled my newfound fame into more practical pursuits. Me? I think it is! What? It's, it's me! And you! And you. The yeah. other you! It is, it is me! And you! you. But uh, how? Michael? Michael? It's, it's impossible! No, no it's, it's science! science. Your science, Doc! Doc. In, In this other world, world. what do you say you come, come from? from? Am, am I... am I, I happy there? there? Very happy! You've, You've got, got two great, great sons! sons. Yes, yes, and a fantastic, fantastic wife! Not, Not even remotely. remotely! And your invention! Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to! Anywhere in time! You're the luckiest guy in the universe! And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley! You know, Valley. You know, you know it's got, got problems. problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're, they're miserable, miserable, they're not miserable, miserable like, like they are in your hill valley. Stop! There, there are, are no miserable people in my hill valley. Give me a break. break. You, you don't, don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody, Nobody worries. Nobody, worries. Nobody, Nobody complains. complains. Only because, because they're afraid to. Jeez, open, open your eyes, will you? You went ahead and have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you. Your honor. We work for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to Lily Hill Valley of Vice and Disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? What? The consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please, I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine. I'll be back with proof. Wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Son, I think it's done rewinding. Oh, whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Just blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Hell, nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of this alley have fallen to virtually. Ah! Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. Gotta, gotta be a clue around, around here somewhere. somewhere. It's not working. Dad, that, that's, that's not one of our, our bats, bats, is it? Is it? No. 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 McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, wait don't, don't touch it. it. It's evidence. Of what? Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice sectoral citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Hey, calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage.
Here, Here it is. is. Raw, Raw footage. footage. Thank, Thank heavens. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. I'm sure they were in there before. Or whoever it was whacked you in the head and took him. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley? They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who? Who could have done this to me? Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? Everybody who's bad mouth sits around. They didn't know what cameras are. But that's half people in town. No, I'm, I'm guessing, guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no, no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. You can't just give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's gotta be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... And what, and what if this mugger comes, comes back? back? Another bat in the head, head might do you in. You said you needed the tapes. You know, you know your, your time, time is valuable. valuable. I would hate for you to have to redo all that work. You said you needed the tapes. It's, it's uh, the principle, principle of it. You know, you know if we, we let the thief get away with his crime, it sets a bad example for other thieves. You said you needed the tapes. I gotta, I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. I'm telling you the truth, Dad. I've been breaking rules all over town. You'll have to convince me. Readings programs, Brock 2.0, anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Read them and weep. The merits, but the only way. I don't understand. Listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his hill valleys just make everybody miserable. Shh! To him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. First, I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Think of your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. It's, it's your civic duty. duty. Doesn't, Doesn't Citizen, Citizen Brown, Brown always tell us to keep our noses clean? And that's what I plan to do. Do it, do it for your father. father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. 
have yeah, something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where did you hear about that? It was way back, before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what Males used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feeding to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera than than yourself? Of course. Gotta, gotta cover all bases. Help me figure out which monitor I'm on. It says to keep this printout for my records. Looks like us. So, so the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. A Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? I can't understand it. If it's, it's not, not the way he's supposed, supposed to behave, why well, even the old Biff would have Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's, Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. It cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Wait, 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 wait stop, stop the picture. Can you zoom, zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine, don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. To go and lead me to the front. That's right. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. If you didn't meet up 
like that, and then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was, uh, I was... What? That's strange. I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I've been doing all day. I just, I just finished feeding some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when this Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, she wanted to run a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom... What was my mom doing here? Oh, she was just handing over her paper. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, Mark, but your mom's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, but the sign up for Citizen Plus. She was on the fence for a while, too. But after you took the blame for her drinking problem, she realized she needs serious help. Oh, no. Mom! So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch. Yeah, it, it does, does sound, sound pretty, pretty bad, bad, doesn't it? There, your, your watch. Does X11 mean anything, anything to you? X11? Is that a new band, band or something? something? Yeah, yeah, I don't go into that new hippity hoppy stuff. It's not, it's not a band, band band, it's a mode on your Citizen Plus, Plus watch. Weird. I've, I've never seen it look like that. Can't can 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 really get this thing to stop liking it, see? Cool? I didn't know you could do that! My, My wrist, wrist is getting a little sore. sore. Biff? Uh, uh, okay, that's, that's weird. weird. What's wrong with you? Could you, uh, touch, touch your toes? toes?
Officer Parker, move along, citizen, and stay out of trouble. Come on, let me take a look. I won't tell anyone. Honest. Back away, citizen. Come on, let me take a look. I won't tell anyone. Honest. Back away, citizen. Come on, let me take a look. I won't tell anyone. Honest. Back away, citizen. Come on, let me take a look. I won't tell anyone. Honest. Back away, citizen. Officer Parker, move along, citizen, and stay out of trouble. Officer Parker, move along, citizen, and stay out of trouble. Officer Parker. Move along, citizen, and stay out of trouble. Come on, let me take a look. I won't tell anyone. Honest. Back away, citizen. Done. 
keeping Hill Valley, Valley safe from hooligans like you and your father. So much hey, look over there! Beer! Beer! Beer. What's, What's going, going on? How Italian? Obey, Obey your, your programming! programming. Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks, thanks to the enhancements, enhancements I made, made to the citizen, citizen bring, bring even the most rabid dogs to heat. I should have known you'd be, be trouble someday. Look, candy! No? no? Cigars? Cubans? Where am I? Tannin? I can go, go behind my handy handy husband's back, so you have no vices. Uh, uh, it's no use no struggling, Miss Lombard. Look, girly max. Who with these? Listen to me! Uh, uh,
I'm, I'm sure, sure you wouldn't blame me for all this, Doc. He was so, so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are, Are you proud of me now, Father? Maybe you not into the water game. I'm not following what's done is done. I'm a little Maybe. 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 Your notebook from the other timeline. Not just a little bit. He prepared the time machine and fixed all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty paper. The only one you need is right here.
I'm sorry, I'm sorry about Edna Doc. Doc. She, she didn't, didn't seem, seem so bad, bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When, when we were first, first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? I'm, I'm sure, sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you, Are you proud, proud of me now, Father? Ah, enough following what's done is not time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe, maybe not. not. Your notebook, Your notebook from, from the other timeline. timeline. Not, not just foolishness for him. Look, you can, you can use, use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone, Everyone could be back, back the way they're supposed to be. be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. parents. Doc, you once, once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, well accomplish, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Biff's parked under manure in this timeline. In another timeline, all these pinball parts would probably be in Lydia by now. Did I just find the one thing that hasn't changed in this timeline?
stay. All right, let me fly. Time to race the music. Bass is bass the music. It is. came around, around and jumped jump me. me. I totally I laid him out with the old Martin, Martin McFly. Edna, it's, it's almost, almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My, My husband is in a better place. Better place? <laughs> what have you, have you done, done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Here's the real story. I'm a morning fly from an alternate, alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my news. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. 